drinks a whiskey drink, he drinks a vodka drink, he drinks a lager drink, he drinks a cider drink. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top British one hit wonders. Where are they now? We can't rewind, we've gone too far. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at British born artists as well as those who've had major hits in the UK. They managed to have a number one hit, only to end up forever disappearing from the charts. Did we miss your fave? Let us know in the comments. Number 8. Right Said Fred You might not know them by their name, but you do know their tune. I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, so sexy it hurts. Right Said Fred is the name of the British brother duo behind this iconic tune. Sound familiar? We bet. Their legacy continues to live on, as they're actually still making music. They've managed to release several studio albums, but no song was quite as successful as I'm Too Sexy. I'm a model, you know what I mean, and I do my little turn on the catwalk. The band was also dubbed as UK's most controversial at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. They were making anti-vax comments, even though one of the brothers ended up being hospitalised with COVID. Guess they were too sexy for it. And I'm too sexy for this song. Number 7. Chumba Wumba The 90s taught us an important lesson. If we get knocked down, we get up again. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never keep me down. And the credit goes to Chumba Wumba and their incredibly catchy, tub-thumping hit. These days, the song is a nostalgic memory, and so is the band. Chumba Wumba continued to perform for a couple of years after their charting success, but broke up in 2012. In 2021, lead singer of the band, Dunstan Bruce, released a documentary that looks back on Chumba Wumba and their attempt at changing the world through activism. After all, getting back up on your feet is in their motto. Chesney Hawks A special treat for the 80s babies. Who remembers this one? Chesney Hawks was catapulted onto the charts after his release of The One and Only, which was first featured as a soundtrack of the movie Buddy's Song. Call me, call me by my name. The single was a massive hit, and although he tried, Hawks was unable to recreate the same levels of success. As a result, he was dropped from his record company and disappeared from the public eye. I can't These days, Hawks lives in the US, but continues to appear in various British programs. He even got to sing his song again on Pointless Celebrities and stated that he could never leave music behind. Number 5. Let Loose If you want to bring back special memories of someone who was a teenager in 1993, play Crazy For You by Let Loose. The song was the band's debut single, however it didn't reach its charting peak until it was re-released in 1994. Although the band had several decent hits after their debut, they could never replicate their Crazy For You success. You me, you they ended up splitting up and tried to reunite several years later and even planned a reunion tour that never happened. Let Loose members are still individually active in the music world either as solo artists or even songwriters. Number 4. DJ Pied Piper and the Masters of Ceremonies Their hit song, Do You Really Like It, became a much-beloved 2001 garage classic after it first gained the number one spot on the UK charts. However, not much is known about DJ Pied Piper and the Masters of Ceremonies outside of this hit. They went on to record at least one more single that never ended up being released on the charts, 
and that's about it. We're loving it, loving it, loving it. We're loving it like this. Mystery aside, it looks like there's no bad blood between the boys. Back in 2020, they reunited to celebrate 20 years of their hit single, Looking As Good As Ever. Apart from DJ Pie Piper, who still actively DJs, not much is known about other members. Do you really like it? Do you really like it? Number 3. The Buggles Not only was Video Killed the Radio Star a hit single worldwide, but it was also the song that launched the one and only MTV back in 1981. Yep, you heard that right. Video Kill the Radio Star was the Buggles' lead single from their debut album, and the charting success instantly catapulted the duo into stardom. Although they desperately tried to make another hit, their other projects weren't so well received. So the Buggles took a slight hiatus sometime around 1998. They reunited several times since then for various gigs, and in 2023, they announced they'll be going on their very first tour, supporting the artist Seal. Number 2. Corner Shop Now this is definitely a song that brings back some nostalgic memories. Corner Shop had two albums before finally making it, with the lead single called Brimful of Asher. Behind movie scenes, behind the, movie scenes. the song became an international hit, and Corner Shop became music legends. They went on to release six more albums, and although Brimful of Asher remains their biggest hit, Corner Shop showed they have a true passion for music. And singing, illuminate the main streets and the cinema aisles. They still remain active, and in 2009, they established their own independent record label, called Ample Play Records. Corner Shop made it clear that they aren't mainstream and can only produce music that personally moves them. Number 1. Duffy In 2008, Duffy released her debut album, and with it came her lead single called Mercy. I don't know what this is. Just a year later, she received her first Grammy, and won three Brit Awards. Then, she disappeared off the face of the earth. You got me begging you for mercy, why won't you me? She failed to appear at scheduled performances, no one knew what happened to her. I'm begging you for mercy. That was until 2020, when Duffy took to Instagram to reveal her heartbreaking story. She explained she was forcefully taken to another country and held captive for several days. She revealed it took her over a decade to recover from the horrifying ordeal and is prioritizing her healing over making music. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.